Hi guys, it's me, Gina, and I wanted to do uh, just a quick review of some stuff that I had forgotten to mention um, that I got for Christmas. Um, the Urban Decay um, pencil set, and I wanted to show you the Coach um, laptop case that I got for Uber Cheap, and I'll tell you where to get it. Um, and I wanted to also, because today this is basically the look I'm telling you about with the Urban Decay pencils. I didn't use the new set because I want to save that for you guys, but I used another one that I have that is basically the same set that I got from Sephora when they were doing the same sell online. Um, you basically get one, two, three, four like six, seven pencils for $24.99, I believe. And I think one pencil is around that price. So I basically have two of these sets for the price of one pencil. And so today it's like a silver and I just, I mean, it, it takes minutes. I slap it on, I take a pencil brush, shade it. I'll do a tutorial on it. Um, but I mean, it's just a quick, easy, out the door look. And then I wanted to show you um, on the masterpiece um, from Shawnee, the blush palette. Oh my goodness. It does not look like it's super bright, but it was so bright that this five minute look I did today took me more like a half an hour or more blending out these colors. They are so pigmented, it's, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, I actually even had to put face powder over it to um, soften it down. Even with the contour, the colors are just, I mean, I barely dabbed it in there because I didn't know how bright it was. And, you know, I tapped it off like I normally would. And it was like, oh, bright pink. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I'm trying to tap the rest off the brush and only use what's on the face. And <laughs> it was so bright. But I'll swatch those for you in a minute. Um, so first, let's start with that Urban Decay um, pencil set that I was telling you about. It is the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil Set in Black Market. I don't know if this, I, I think this might be an online only thing. I mean, I've only ever got these online. I have another one, totally different colors. Um, the last one, it, I love that one too, and that one did come with another 24-7 and zero. That's the black color, it's the best black color. This one has a black, it's called Black Market, and I'm going to swatch all of these for you. So, um, let's go ahead and take these out. I'm going to need my little white. I won't need it yet. Okay, so let's start from this side down. The first one looks like a bluish color. They're actually really hard to get out. Especially if you have nails. And my nails this time, when I got them done, they're not even that well. <laughs> so when you go to put them back, I suggest not putting them kind of off. They kind of leave like part of like the top out. So the first one is this. It is 24-7. The name is Ink. So let's open it. Never used it. It's like a blue color. That's going to be fun. That'll probably be the first one I do for you guys. So let me make sure I have enough room to put all of them on here. Yeah, it's blue. It kind of comes off. And the skin is a little bit more purple. Which I do have a purple. But that's pretty much what that one looks like. But... Um, on the eye, we'll get a definite view of how it actually looks. And we're going to go on to the next one. So 
I'm going to try to put that back without. So the next one is like a greenish color and I don't think I have any um, pencils in that color. Well, I'm super glad because I have a lot of glitter liners from NYX and don't get any glitter liners from NYX except for the ones with the tassels. Those are the ones that are the best. They give, they give you the most glitter and they're the easiest to work with. I actually buy them on the Makeup Geek website because Marlena sells them on there. And I might start buying them at Target. Um, I'm not sure if Marlena sells them for the same price. I mean, she might. I, I don't know. I mean, I used to get them at Ulta, too. But sometimes it's just easier to go and get them on a website when you can't get to a store. And they they last a long time but right now we're talking about this so I'll get back to this so this one is a greenish color almost like a kind of like humid from MAC the shadow it's called apathy and let's open it it's like a green let's swatch let's do a swatchy next to my big bright pink Oh yeah, see that's green. It's like a forest green. Oh, pretty! I can't wait to play with that one. Do a look with it. That's gonna be fun. Look at that. I know it's not a straight line. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just I'm putting it on a different on different hand. I don't know why. So, but that's that one try to get it close you can see how super green that is next one is a very purple color there is just some great colors in these so I mean go on sephora.com every once in a while even if you have a sephora store just pop online because especially during the holidays they're going to have great sales on there for all the um geeks like us <laughs> oh come on <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying really hard to get it out <laughs> my nail it's like I can't even put on necklaces unless they're super long because I can't clasp anything when I have nails so I try to tell them to keep them short the last few times I've got my nails done they're like insanely long especially when I did the Louis Vuittons because you have to have like a um, certain length so you can see it. And then I had the Chanel ones and those were insanely long. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't get this out. Out with you. Maybe that'll work. Oh, come on. I bet if my eight-year-old son was here, he'd be able to do this in like a minute. Here you go, Mom. <laughs> you have to kind of use your finger. There you go. Got it. Woo! Sorry that it took so long. So this one, ooh, I like it. It's called Riot. And one of my favorite bands, one of my favorite band is The Clash. And they have a song, White Riot. So it's kind of cool. Um, So this is like a purpley color. That kind of looks black. When you put it on the screen, it's not though. It's very purple. I'm going to do this quick. So I took up so much time just trying to get that out. Can you see that? It's purple. That's going to be fun. So I'll do a look every time I do. I'm, we're going to start doing looks with these. Sometimes you can use shadows with them to go over, to go over them. And then the next one is the black color. This is how I did it. So let's see if I can get it out this way without breaking it now. Cause I ain't going again to get my nails done two weeks in a row. Oh, for the love of cheese. 
I promise I'll get it out. Oh my god, these things are really in there. Please come out. This is like supposed to be like a short video that's going to turn into an hour long video because I can't get these out. That's the one thing is, is the packaging. I don't like the packaging on these. They make them in ridiculously hard to come out. I mean, it's good that they're sealed in there and all that, but I mean, they come with this, and what else? You don't need. To, they don't need to pack them in there so deep. You know, and I'm not getting. I, I don't sponsor any of these products. I don't work for Urban Decay or Shawnee. I'm just an ordinary housewife who loves fashion and all that good stuff. Cause that's what housewives do. You know, you pretend to clean house, cook, clean whatever but really this is what we're doing secret club so this is the black color and market black another clash song black market clash haha -ha. there's lots of clash references going on with her decay and it's called black market Ooh, I wonder if that was done on purpose probably not but I like to think it is I have a clash tattoo on my ankle like an anklet so that's the black color next to the purple. It's not as dark black as the um, zero. Zero is blacker than black, and I'm gonna actually tight line. Let's see if I can tight line without looking. You really just go up on the crease with the pencil. I just did it real quick. I kind of wanted to show you. That's basically tight lining, but I usually use a um, a gel with it. So, kind of wanted to give you. It, it's not an easy thing to to like, catch on to right away. It takes some time. All right, now <laughs> let's go on to the next one for the next half hour watching me trying to get this out. I should have got them all out before doing this. I didn't realize this was going to be so stinking hard. Well, I should have realized because I remember from last time. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Getting flushed. <laughs> Come out. It's like they're teasing you. You want to play with our pencils, but you can't get them out. Oh, it's still going to be so fun. By the time you get it out, you're like, I don't even want to use this anymore. I don't. Or you're like, it took me so long to get the pencil out that I just can't wait to get this color on my eye. So maybe they're toying with us. Who knows? Oh, for the love of Seriously, I'm not doing this on purpose, I swear. <laughs> I was not supposed to <laughs> Do you guys really think, oh my god, what a loser. She can't even get an eyeliner out. Come out! <laughs> this one's almost kind of gray. It doesn't look as silver as the one I have on. I want to use my teeth, but I can't. Oh, please! <sighs> this is really driving me nuts. Probably just as much, as much as it's driving you guys nuts. <sighs> um, let me grab a tool real quick so that I can try and get these out. I'm going to grab a pencil. And this is so, like, not professional to, like, just get up during one of your videos, but I'm doing it for you so that you don't have to wait as long. Because I feel like you guys are thinking, Gina, my gosh, are you serious? I'm going to grab this pencil and see if it helps. Ah! Yeah! Bam! Shika bam, shika bam! That helps. All right, so the last one's going to take the shortest to get out. This one is in desperation. 
I love this name. It's 24 Urban Decay, 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil and Desperation. Because we're desperate to get our makeup on. And it's gray. You see the gray? It's desperately gray. <laughs> the tip is all crooked for me trying to get it out. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to break it. Oh yeah, it's a light. Oh, I did break it. Son of a gun. That stinks. That's okay. I got a sharpener for when I use it. And like when you do these really it doesn't need to be superly sharp because I mean you're seriously just smudging it on dang it I hate it when you mess up a brand new pencil before you even use it so it's the big thick one kind of looks black but as you can see next to the black it's a little lighter so now the last one they're even a little kind of hard to get back in. Let's not poke my eye out with this pencil. Okay. Forgot to turn the television off. I was in such a hurry today. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, there's lots of beeping going on. I watch Bravo all, all day. That's like the only channel I ever have it on. Unless my son wants to watch cartoons. Which is rare. Oh, for love. Even with this pencil, I can't get this one out. Oh, got it! Yay! That was the fastest one I, that we got out. Okay, awesome. So this one looks goldish brown. It's called West. Another Clash reference. OMG. Because there's a song. I'm just going to stop with the Clash thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love the Clash. So. Well, there's also a, a thing, West Way to the World. I'm sorry. I just love the Clash. So there's that. I'm going to call this my Clash palette. Oh, yeah. That's like a nice brown. There's shimmer in that. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I don't have it as bright today because I don't have my makeup mirror. So this is more of what it truly looks like. It does kind of have like, because I know that light up there, it gives it like an orangish color. All right, let me get that off my hand because I have a coach bag that I'm going to be showing you. And I don't want this on my hand when I'm, like, it's brand new coach bag. So I'm just taking my wipe and wiping that off real quick. So the... I got, um, it's actually a Chromebook, which is about the same size as a laptop. I had a netbook, because I don't really, like, play games or anything. My husband's the one that works for the video game company and plays the games, and I don't really play the games, so, you know, I don't need anything super duper, only for mostly internet stuff. So, why spend a ton of money on, like, oh, I didn't want to do that. I'm having, I don't know if it's because I curled my hair today, maybe? Maybe it's like making me off balance? <laughs> I don't know. So this, it said, and so this is, what I want you to be careful now. If you do go to the Coach Factory Outlet website, um, this, what I'm about to show you, said should fit a laptop. In fact, the inches... Like, this goes over, I put it over my laptop, and it looks like it should fit, but because of the way the zipper is placed, 
and the shape of the zipper, it does not fit. I was kind of irritated. However, it was normally $118 and I paid $29.99 after the discount on the website. So that's pretty good. I mean, you do have your shipping and, and all that, but so it came out to like 34 after tax and I haven't even taken the plastic off the, the little coach symbol there and it's like the C's together and this is leather. So, th I mean, I mean, a leather, I mean, you could probably put a, an iPad or a tablet in here if you wanted to, to get it for that. But I'm planning, here's a little, you know, coach tag. I mean, this is 100% authentic. I know that when you do, like, try to look up, like, coach factory site or, you know, cheap coach bags online, you're going to get a lot of fake websites and that's one thing you have to be super careful with when buying anything online. Know the website, know it's legit. I do not put anything on my blog and unless I know that it is a legit site and it's not going to be giving me fake stuff. So you can 100% trust that anything I put on my blog is going to be a real website. I would never in a million years want to get something fake in the mouth. And this is, I'm going to use this as a makeup traveling case because most traveling cases are usually round with the handle. So this is nice and flat. So I mean, I can stick brushes in here. I mean, and when I put it in my, um, my suitcase, you know, I can lay it flat. And I'll probably put this on my carry-on um, because the last time I checked a bag, I have this big Sephora palette that I got from Sephora, or Smashbox palette that I got from Sephora. And um, because they're, they just throw stuff, they ended up cracking the um, actual palette broke. However, none of the eyeshadows or anything got messed up, so otherwise I would have been having a huge hissy fit over makeup. But, um, so I kind of recommend, unless you're not flying, then you can put it in your suitcase. But, um, I got a better suitcase now anyway. So, like, it'll lay flat rather than round, and you don't have to worry about stuff, you know, flipping around and. It would be not laid down nice and flat. This would be good for brushes, especially like if you're a makeup artist and you need to bring a lot of brushes. If you don't have, you know, a case, which m most makeup artists do. But it's nice to have a, you know, luxury brand coach, you know, for makeup or whatever. So that's what, you know, this is. I mean, <laughs> It said 33 on the website. I got it after the discount because it does, when, like in the Coach Factory outlet, when you get your little coupon for an extra 50 or 20 or whatever. So it ended up being, after I looked at the receipt, it said 29. I was like, woo, 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 woo. So, that, I mean, how can you beat that? $118 down to 29? Wow. And it's 100% real. I think it is shopcoachfactory.com. Um, I look at, uh, go to FabGab um, on the Tumblr site, my, my blog. I post because I get emails. And another thing you can do is if you go into the Coach Factory store um, at the outlets, you can ask to um, be put, you know, they'll give you, give your email address, they will send you emails, and that's how, like, literally, probably one of the only ways, except for me posting it, that you're going to be able to find this website. You will not be able to search it on Google. So, you, you can either look on my blog, which is um, Gina, J-E-A-N-A, 48, 48, H at or dot tumblr dot com 
Um, I think I spelled Tumblr wrong on my um, link, so I have to fix that, which I will. Um, but, you know, whatever. So I'll fix that so you guys can get a direct link from here to the blog. And then when you do see coach stuff, you'll have the, you know, you'll see what they're selling, how much stuff's going for. And, you know, I put down what the discount is and then I post the um, website. So I have one more thing I want to show you and then we'll be done. My, I wanted to swatch the blush for you because I wanted to show you literally how stinking crazy dark these are. So this is the blush palette from Shawnee. What did I use today? Okay. Okay. I believe. I tried contouring with this and putting this on my face, but I'm going to do all of them. Let's start with the uh, one I contoured with, which you wouldn't even think by looking at the dang thing, but it's like orange. And I'm being careful. It's really silky and smooth though. So let's do, no, it was this one. It's the middle one that I contoured with. Look at that. You have to be careful. And then here's the darkest. I mean, look at, look at these. Oops, sorry. I'm going to wipe my hands off so I can get the last two. One, the next one's like an orange and then a pink. Actually, I'll just use my other hand so it's not wet. But I'm going to clean this hand off real quick for you. I mean, as long as you make sure, I mean, you can always fix it like I did because you can't tell um, on the screen that I have, you know, super bright blush on and I did use a little bit more of that green um, concealer and it works great I mean my redness if you can see today is highly backed down today I mean my face looks a lot better than it normally does so let's do this one this is kind of like an orangish color. Oh yeah, that's like orange. So this would be for definitely dark skin tone. I wouldn't use this for fair skin. This one you could probably use for fair skin. The pinkish, pinky, the very pinkish. Um, this one right here, because I mean. Pink pretty much goes good with every skin tone, but I'm really surprised that these are so pigmented for a, um, you know, a, a palette like this where you're only getting six blushes. I'm not complaining about, you know, that I got six blushes. It's just they're so dark that depending on your complexion, you yeah, might not be able to wear any of them. So, you know, like, I don't think I'll be able to use that orange unless I'm doing somebody's makeup. But I, I will play with it, you know. Who knows? Okay, well, that's everything I wanted to show you. Sorry it took me, like, seven years to get the, um, stinking pencils out. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I mean, if I don't know if it was going to be that hard, be that hard, I would have taken them out before. But I wanted to show you exactly what they came in, and you know, so you knew that exactly what the set looks like. So you know, every once in a while, just go to Sephora on the website Sephora.com, and um, to see if they're having any deals like that. Um, 
I do have some makeup coming from Makeup Geek. I think I got a sample of some um, shimmer like glitter. Um, it's like a glitter pigment. M more glitter than pigment. Um, I did get a Makeup Geek lipstick, um, which I haven't tried yet, so I'm really excited to try one of the Makeup Geek lipsticks. And I'll probably open that with you guys. And then I got, it's a NYX highlighter cream. Now, uh, Burberry has a, um, a, apparently a really, really great um, highlighting cream. I can't find it for the life of me. I mean, I they didn't have Burberry in the cosmetic outlet because I did go in there for specifically that. Um, and I couldn't find it, so I was bummed. And then they said, we'll go to the Burberry, the Burberry store, you know, the outlet, and they didn't have any makeup in there. So, you know, if you go to the Burberry.com, it, it, it's like super expensive. So I got a NYX one that kind of looks like it's very similar. So we'll try that out when I get it. And um, I got an email, I guess my, the, They've been super busy for the holidays, which I totally understand. And I do have some shoes coming too, which I'll be showing you from Fab Gab. Um, I'm just always buying stuff, and you know, I'm not rich or anything. It's just that you know, I like to if I'm going to you know show something, I don't want to just say, hey, that's a really cool thing, when I have no idea what that product is like, and I don't work for any of them. I don't work I mean I, I don't I, I'm just a housewife who you know wants to make her way into this and it's been years in the making and look I'm just starting out like this but hopefully we'll get better as time goes by so thank you guys I hope you <laughs> enjoyed watching me act like a goofball sorry about the whole going over the clash thing I'm just a goofy person so I love you guys and um, keep an eye out and go to Fab Gab um, on Tumblr I just posted a bunch of stuff from um, just fab for the Valentine's looks and I just downloaded a bunch of stuff from Hope look and I'll be posting some stuff that they have in sales on today I'll be posting that um, and those sales, like, in, you know, they last quite a few days, so whatever I post, well, you'll be able to still, I mean, unless it gets sold out. And I always try to pick, you know, something I would wear, you know, or something I think somebody else would, oh, my gosh, that's really cute, you know. And I try to do all ranges of everything, you know, not just me. So, but, um, so that's going to be coming up on the blog like within the next few minutes so, um, after the video. So hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, look forward to my um, outfit post for the weekend. That's going to be coming up soon too. Um, we'll see what I'll be wearing, what Gina's going to be sporting this weekend. I don't think it's raining, so I'll probably have Maybe a Michael Kors raincoat on. Who knows? I don't know. We'll have to see what the weather's like. But um, I look forward to um, any comments or um, follows and all that. So please follow me on Tumblr and here on YouTube. Um, I really appreciate it. And I thank everybody who has started watching a lot. I thank you all and all my Facebook friends and family. I love you all. So thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye.